Welcome to the Speak With People podcast. My name is Jason Rates. I'll be your host, and this podcast exists to help you improve your communication skills. Whether you communicate one-on-one, to a team, from a stage, or from behind a screen, we know that when we improve our communication skills as leaders, it exponentially changes everything. It improves our relationships, it improves our leadership skills, and it improves our business skills. So let's get ready to dive into this next episode. Have you ever wanted to be a guest on a podcast? I bet there are quite a few of you. If you're listening to Speak With People podcast, you're probably thinking, yes, I would love to be a guest someday, either on the Speak With People podcast or another podcast in the genre that you provide as a leader and a communicator. I know many of our listeners are speakers, many are authors, many are influencers, many are business owners. Many are leaders in corporate America and you would love, you've got like a side hustle. You've got a passion that you really want to get out there. And being on a podcast is one of the absolute best ways. But there are a couple of reasons why many of you, you just have never done that. One is because of your own thoughts. I read recently on Facebook, one of the, the things that stops most leaders in their tracks from trying something new is their own thoughts. It's not even anybody else telling you not to do something. It's you. So get over those thoughts. You have something valuable. I was reading in a Facebook group the other day and someone said, I'm thinking about starting a podcast, but there's already a million podcasts. So what? There are 8 billion people on the planet. The 3 million or so podcasts that are out there is not enough to reach everyone. So the world needs your ideas. So get past that. And then lastly, some of you are just expecting, well, I would be a guest on a podcast if uh, it need, if it already was supposed to happen, like the phone would just magically ring. Guess what? The phone is not going to magically ring. So if you want to be a, a podcast guest someday, get over your own thoughts, start adding it out there, and then just start asking people if you could be on podcasts. Well, welcome to this episode of the Speak With People podcast. My name is Jason Rates. I'm the host. I'm also the president of Speak With People. Today, we have no guests. It is just me, and I just want to give you what I think are some valuable lessons that I've learned after interviewing 110, 120 different leaders on the Speak With People podcast. Because many of you want to be a podcast guest someday. You want to be on different podcasts where you are interviewed So I wanted to provide what I think are five of the absolute best skills, tools that you need to be a great podcast guest at some point. Now, listen, I'm no expert. I've only been on 10 as a guest, 10 episodes as a guest. But after interviewing 115, 120 so guests, I've got some ideas. I've learned some things. And what I need you to know, what I always think through is especially when I'm writing a message or I'm writing something or I'm presenting something or I'm offering some type of product, I think about things between a good, better, best solution. Good, better, best. So with the time that I have available, okay, all I have is an hour. All I have is one hour. What am I going to provide in that? Okay, probably it's not going to be you know, the absolute best material that I could provide. So you've got to figure out, okay, if I'm going to be a podcast guest, how much time do I really have to put into it? Now, some, some podcasts, right? They're going to give you all of the questions. They're going to give it, you know, them, them to you in advance. So you can think of the answers and be prepared. Other podcasts, they want it to be more just off the cuff. So you're going to have to do some quick thinking. Now, You can do some things to prepare for that, but you've got to be prepared at what kind of podcast guests do I want to be. And so we're going to go into these skills. We're going to go into these things that you absolutely need to know to be a great podcast guest. Now, I would love, before we go into this even further, what you think of the guests that have been on the Speak With People podcast. Would you text me right now, press pause, after you hear my number, 989-954-4150. Let me say it again for those in the back, 989-954-4150. And text me what you think about the guests. Is there been a, has there been a favorite guest? What kind of guests would you like to hear in the future? We spend a lot of time picking our guests. We have lots of different publishers, podcast agents. We have speaker agents that all 
approach the Speak With People podcast, and we want to provide the absolute best leaders as we possibly can, because we hope that these conversations, as I'm interviewing the different leaders, we hope that they spark leadership and communication transformation in you. Like, that's it. Ooh, we, you know, this is not a true crime podcast that kind of warms you up or, you know, tickles your like entertainment mode. We are not in that. We, we are in the, we want to help you become an exceptional communicator. That's it at the end of the day. And so speak of people, that's why we exist. We want to empower you. We want to challenge you. We want to encourage you to, to not just settle to be a poor communicator. We want you to be an exceptional communicator because as a leader, Research shows us up to 90% of our day, we're communicating through text message, through email, through our nonverbals, through our body language, through our speaking, through our words, through our Zoom trainings. I mean, you name it. We are communicating all day long. And so we want you, we want, we want to help you. We want to help you become the best, well-rounded, holistically healthy communicator that you possibly can. Because when you improve your communication skills, Everything changes in your life. Your relationships deepen, trust builds, your connections widen and deepen. I mean, and then think of it in your business. I mean, I don't know what your business is, but for most of us, when our communication skills improve, we are then able to retain clients better. Our, Our client trust goes through the roof. They start referring people. Our customer service skills skyrocket. I mean, it's just phenomenal. So leader, if you're listening to this, do everything you possibly can to improve your communication skills. I love, uh, you know, political podcasts and news podcasts, but the things that help me transform the most are podcasts like the Speak of People podcast, where they're teaching business skills, they're teaching leadership skills, they're teaching communication skills. So Find the different podcasts that help you grow and lean into them. If you're a YouTube person, find those YouTube channels and do everything you possibly can. So if you want to be on a podcast someday, you got to first get rid of the lies in your head that you have nothing to offer because you have a ton to offer. You then have to do the work to figure out what kind of podcasts you want to be on. You got to find that niche. And then third, you got to start reaching out. And so we're going to talk about all of that in these podcast skills. So we've had so many great podcast guests on the Speak of People podcast. I mean, I think of last week alone, Marianne Hickman, one of my favorite episodes. If you want to be a professional speaker one day, you got to go back and listen to that episode. She gives you free resources throughout the podcast. She even gives you a free podcast resource. Go to her website, MarianneHickman.com. And if she has a spreadsheet of hundreds of podcasts that you could go and start to email to be on those, those podcast shows. I mean, just amazing. A couple weeks ago, we had Deanne Turner, a vice president for 33 years for Chick-fil-A. She talked about team culture. I mean, just powerful stuff. I mean, just mind-blowing. So do everything you can to learn from different interviews and then go out. So, all right, let's go through it. Here are, here are five different skills, five different steps you got to be able to take to be a great, be a great podcast guest. First one is this. You got to get invited to be on podcasts. And remember, like I said in the beginning, 99. 8% of us, the phone is not just going to ring. You got to put yourself out there. And I know it's hard sometimes because we fear rejection. We fear the no's. But like many people have said before me in sales, 99 no's leads to one glorious yes. So do everything you can to put yourself out there. So first and foremost, identify your niche. What kind of podcast do you want to be on? Because you're probably not for everyone. That's a tough lesson I had to learn. As, especially as I've been a speaker, a communicator, as I've been a podcast host, what I provide is not for everyone. There's a niche to it. And like I've read in the past, there are riches in the niches. So the more that you can niche down, figure out what the exact problem is that the people in your audience, the people in your bracket are facing, then you can provide a solution for them. And so find that niche. So niche down. Then you got to craft a compelling email. And I would have a couple elements to this. Think through that subject line. Have a great subject line about the kind of guest that you're going to be. I would also think through some compelling text. I've read lots of research that say no more than five paragraphs. They should be short paragraphs, but even three is best. So just keep it short and put the ask out there. 
and then attach a one sheet. I, I know th there are some people who say, ah, the day the one sheet's over. I get asked for a one sheet all the time from different organizations, different people. And so make up a one sheet. If you want an example of my one sheet, email me, jason at speakwithpeople.com. I'll send you mine. You can look at it. Uh, you could also, you know, go online and download other people's one sheet, but put that together. And then third, start building relationships with podcast hosts. Go to Facebook, type in under the groups, what kind of podcast you want to be in. And then you're going to find all different types of groups. So comment, respond, build relationships with those people. So that's some of the stuff you've got to do ahead of time. Because I'm sorry, the phone's just not going to ring. Maybe if, if you have developed into a world famous person, whether, you know, your book takes off and it's sold a million copies. Now, yes, the phone's going to ring. But for most of us, we got to build our audience. We got to build excitement. We got to build momentum. And it starts with just reaching out to podcast hosts. Okay, number two, you got to prepare for your interview. You got to spend time preparing. I mean, it's just, we talk a lot about preparation on the Speak With People podcast. We did a whole episode about it a couple months ago. Preparing is incredible. You, I, you know, during our training, when we go into companies, we talk about preparing for conversations. When we teach leaders how to communicate at a high level to present presentations that will captivate a room, we talk about preparing. You, you've got, you've got to have a massive amount of preparation. And so even if you don't, you know, have hours, spend some time thinking through what you're going to say. Now, most podcasts, they're either going to provide you just a list of some simple questions. What's your earliest memory? What's your favorite thing to do? What solution do you provide? Or like our podcast, once we find out their niche, we then write a podcast content doc based around their niche. So spend some time. Now, the conversation may be more free-flowing and you may not hit all the questions, but at least you've thought through the possibility and the potential of those questions. So think about some key points. Think about some stories to share. All of us as leaders, we got to have our elevator pitch of what solution we provide for the problem that our audience is facing. So be prepared on that and then practice your timing and delivery. We've had a lot of, a lot of different guests on our podcast. Uh, I would say most of them, good, better, best are in the better category. We've probably had five in the best and we probably had 10 or so in the good. They were good. Uh, maybe one or two below that, that I, you know, we went back and forth as a production team going, should we post this one? But spend some time practicing your delivery. Look into the camera, learn how to speak to a camera, learn how to project into a microphone. That's the other thing. If you really want to be a great podcast guest, upgrade your equipment. If you get on a podcast and you're using your iPhone uh, and just you're just talking right into it, that uh, that's not going to fly. At least have a computer with a webcam. Uh, get a nicer microphone when you can afford it. We you know we started out with just the webcam from my computer. Now we have a really nice camera, so our quality comes through. So be prepared for those things. All right, number three. Okay, you got to win during the interview. You got to engage with the host and the audience as much as possible. Engage with them. Like do everything you possibly can. Uh, to be an expert in the host before you actually get on. One of the best things you can possibly do. I learned this early on as a speaker. Do everything you can to honor the person who asked you to speak. Thank them. You don't have to do it right off the bat. Thank you so much. None of that. But spend some time during the interview at some point speaking some words of encouragement into them. Like we've talked about on this podcast so many times, many of us have an empty encouragement tank. And I guarantee you that it will, it will pay off. It will give you incredible dividends if you spend some time thanking the host, but also speaking into some of their expertise and their knowledge. We had a father-son duo on the Speak With People podcast, and they researched me as much as, as much as I researched them. And they thanked me, and they brought up specific episodes. I was blown away. Like it was the most honoring and humbling thing possible. So engage with your host, engage with your audience, have something prepared for the audience. We've had a couple of guests who've done this on the Speak of People podcast. They have a free resource available and they give the link. Think through what you can give away. That is just incredible. And then think through your valuable insight or your actionable tips. What are the things you're going to leave them with? You're giving them great content and don't be afraid to give them your best content. 
I know sometimes we're like, ah, I don't want to give all my best stuff away. I want them to buy my book or I want them to buy my course. But I've just learned time and time again, they'll come back to you if they feel like you're feeding them. It's just powerful. And then if you really want people to lean in, you really want to be a podcast guest whose episode is shared and shared and shared. You got to balance vulnerability with professionalism. You don't want to go so vulnerable that people are like, is this, is this person okay? But you've, you've got to be vulnerable with them. You've got to share your failures. You've got to share. You can't just share all of your successes and you can't be the hero of every story that you're going to share. So balance that vulnerability with the professionalism. People want to listen to you because you provide an expertise. So provide it, provide it well, do the best that you can. Okay. The fourth one is this, uh, add value to the host podcast. Oh my goodness. One of the absolute best things you can do is to add value. It's about uh, 70, 30, I would say. 70% of our guests, I never hear from them again. They don't share the episode. Now, in the beginning, we didn't do a really good job asking them or giving them the skills to share it. And so now more and more guests are. But one of the absolute best you can, things you can do is promote their podcast and, their, and, and the podcast episode that you were on on your social media. Text it to 10 people. Put it in your weekly email. I mean, that, that is just huge because there is this really great principle in life called pay it forward. Actually, Jesus talked about it. Give and it will come back to you. And so the more time you spend, <laughs> and the great Zig Ziglar says it, right? The more time you spend helping other people achieve their dream, the bigger your achievement and success will be. Because all of those people, it's like compound interest. They'll help you. It's this amazing process. So do everything you possibly can. Provide feedback for them if they ask you. A couple of times I've been asked by guests, hey, is there anything I could have done better? Ask that question to, to the podcast host. Do everything you can to continue to improve to be the best podcast guest you can. And then show appreciation to them. Send them a handwritten card. Send them a $5 gift card to Starbucks. In a dream world, once we get to a place in the podcast, the Speak of Field podcast where we have multiple sponsors, Every single one of my guests is going to get a customized box with a speak with people mug. And a, I mean, we got this whole dream, but set, start small, start with a card, start with a thank you, start with something. All right. And then um, offer to collaborate on future stuff. Like put yourself out there. If you ever need anything else, hey, would you want to use this resource? Collaborate. All right. Now, number five, the post interview stuff. Now it's not done just when, you know, you stop recording. Now the post stuff, follow up with the host afterwards. Keep a relationship going. Do everything you can to help their podcast succeed. And then engage. Like when they post it online and they post it on LinkedIn and people are commenting, get in there and comment. Add your thoughts. Add the things that you want them to be able to learn and to know because that stuff is powerful. Um, and then do some massive reflection. I mean, the best type of experience is evaluated experience. We've talked about that a million times in this podcast. We talk about it in the, in the speakers, uh, the course that we do for speakers. We did it in the presentation blueprint. Like it's so important, evaluated experience. So once it airs, listen to it, watch it, take some notes. One of the things that younger, not, not younger in the sense of age, but, uh, experience, you know, they have little experience. People who are Guests on podcasts, they'll, um, like, um, you know, um, like, um, now even I did that. I mean, I, I speak into a microphone for a living, but I still get caught sometimes with using some of those filler words. Um, you know, like as a interview E, I did a lot of that early on. I would always say, you know, you know, you know, I don't know why, but I did. And so I had to catch myself. I had to continue to learn. One of the other things that I did, I love this. I love this. One of my very good friends called me once and he's like, you got to stop moaning when you interview people on the podcast. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, when people are, have like a good point to say, you're like in the background going, mm, oh, well, I grew up in church. In church world, we like, you know, we interact with the pastor's message and we moan or we go, mm you know, as kind of like a sign of we agree, but it was coming across on the podcast as weird to people. They're like, why are you moaning? Okay. That was good feedback. I needed to know that I needed to be able to, you know, expand that and get better. 
So do everything you can. Then when you're at different events, tell people about the podcast that you were on. List it on your website, list it on your Facebook, your X, your LinkedIn, your talk about it on TikTok. Hey, everybody, I was on a podcast this week. I'd love for you to be a part. So do everything you can to keep going. You can be on great pod. You, you, be, you, you could be a guest on many podcasts. You just got to be able to put in the work. So you can hire somebody or you could do the work on your own. So just figure out, do you have an hour a week? Do you have two hours a week? And start to do the things I talked about in the very beginning. Start a spreadsheet. Put a list of all the podcasts you want to be on, research them to find an email or find a connection, connect with the host on LinkedIn, and then send them your message. Like I said before, if you go to MarianneHickman.com, she actually has a great resource with, with, I mean, it's hundreds, maybe 300 podcasts that are already laid out. So if you want to be on podcasts, figure out how much time you have and start doing the work and then prepare. Do you have your one sheet? Do you have your elevator pitch? Do you have everything you need to be able to do? Because I tell you, there is an enormous difference of the people that I interview. The people who are used to speaking to a camera, who just come alive when they're looking to a camera, those people pop in the, the podcast interview. Some of you, no offense, and, and you should not take any offense taken because it's not your fault. You just don't have the experience yet. You got to practice talking into a camera or talking into a microphone. And so spend that time doing it and then get out there and become the best podcast guest you can possibly be. Get ready because some of the podcast guests we have coming up this fall are just outstanding on the Speak With People podcast. And who knows, you as a listener, you may be a guest on the Speak With People podcast coming up in the future as well. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I would love to know. Email me, jason at speakwithpeople.com. Let me know, one, if you've had a favorite guest that you've listened to on the Speak With People podcast. And then two, let me know what help you need getting on podcasts because I would love to be here and help you as much as I can to get you on as many podcasts as you want to be on. Friends, I can't thank you enough for being a part of the Speak With People community. I hope that you're in the Speak With People Facebook group. I hope that you're using whatever resources you possibly can. And I can't wait for the next episode because it will be episode 150, another milestone in our podcast journey. Thanks again. Any questions, let me know. We'll catch you in the next episode. Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of the Speak With People podcast. We hope that you were encouraged. We hope that you were inspired and challenged to improve your communication skills. I want to thank you again for being a part of the Speak With People podcast community. Make sure you don't miss out on being a part of the Speak With People Facebook community group. Just head to Facebook, type in Speak with people, scroll down and join our community because every single day we're encouraging each other, we're helping each other to improve our communication skills. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next episode.